In today's quick video, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon S3 storage with FileZilla Pro. Now, the reason why I'm recording this video is there seems to just be a little bit of confusion about this. Now, there's a free version of FileZilla which is available here, available here at FileZilla-Project.org. Um, and that's the version that most people run. It's the version that I was running until earlier today. And that won't work with Amazon S3. So to use it with um, Amazon S3, you do need to buy the, what they call the Pro version, which is only £10. So it's not particularly expensive. But, and that's available at FileZillaPro.com. So that might be one of the reasons why you're struggling to get it working. So you, like I say, you do need to be running the Pro version. And then once you've downloaded and installed the Pro version of it, it's really simple to, to set up. Although... The interface in FileZilla Pro could be a little bit better in my in my opinion because it doesn't sort of change to reflect the settings that you're inputting into it. So if you just go into Site Manager, I'll just show you what I mean. I've already created one here, but if you just say new new site, and we'll call it Amazon S3 new, and then for the host, well, first of all, just change it to Amazon S3. Host is probably going to be that s3 amazon i think it can change that depending on where you are that wants to be set to normal um, and then this is where it's just a little bit ambiguous because the username is actually your access key so in my opinion that obviously should now change to reflect that well, as soon as you choose s3 there that should then say access key and secret and secret access key but it doesn't so that's your so your username is your secret sorry it is your access key id and then your password is your secret access key I mean, I've changed this now, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but that's how it would work. I then just say, click OK. So if I go back to the one that I set up earlier, um, which is here, look. So it's exactly the same, but obviously with my correct details. I then just click Connect and it'll work. So like I said, just a couple of things there. There's the username and password is labelled incorrectly. Um, you know, And you need to be running FileZilla Pro. Now, if you don't want to use FileZilla Pro, or you don't want to pay for FileZilla Pro, then you can use Cyberduck, and that does actually support um, Amazon S3, and it does. It. In fact, the settings in this are actually better, so you could use that as well. But I, I know I prefer to use FileZilla. I just use that for everything that I do. So, so that's why I, I purchased it and decided to use it. So I just thought it's only a quick little tip that, but I just thought I'd record it just in case anyone has the same sort of trouble as I was having earlier. Okay, cheers. Thanks. Bye.